2020 was a wild ride in so many ways, including local real estate. This is Karen Salas with Cambridge Properties with your monthly market update. Despite a short COVID dip in sales, the number of sales in 2020 topped 2019 and the dollar volume skyrocketed. This is in part due to a massive increase in sales in the luxury market. Most price points saw an increase in sales, except under $250,000. As a matter of fact, the under $200,000 single family home in the Valley may soon be a thing of the past, with just over 3,000 sold in 2020, down 66% from 2019 and 73% from 2018. Despite all this great news in sales, we currently have an extreme shortage of inventory. Mid-January, there were less than 6,000 homes for sale in the Phoenix metro area. This is more than a 52% drop since last year at this time. When we were also complaining about low inventory. And though there are precious few active listings on the market, that does not equate to no houses for sale. We saw more homes listed for sale in 2020 than in the previous year, albeit only by 241 homes. But these numbers continue to drop despite Valley population growing significantly. We can't blame COVID for the lack of new listings. This has been a trend for a while with 2012, 2013, and 2014 having fewer new listings than 2020. So if sales have increased, what's causing the lack of inventory? Demand is skyrocketing. So new listings don't last very long before going under contract. Buyers have to act quickly with a good pre-qualification letter in hand before even looking at houses. And I continue to look for ways to make my clients' offers more attractive in competitive situations. One caveat for buyers, please be careful before waiving your rights to inspections, appraisals, and repairs just to have a competitive offer. If you're thinking about buying, let's talk about safe strategies that work in today's market. 2020 was a great time to be a seller. Since early September, appreciation based on monthly appreciation has stayed in the 15 to 19% range. Almost every larger city in the Valley had double digit annual appreciation in 2020 with Queen Creek leading the way with 14.1% year over year appreciation. Though this is a hot and crazy market right now, it is a strong market with no signs of any significant slowdown. If you're thinking this is a year for a move, let's sit down and plan a strategy. It's never too early to talk. And if you're waiting for prices to come down, uh, you're like going to be waiting for a good long time. I'm Karen Salas with Cambridge Properties, your West Valley Realtor.